guys, my name is Jingles, and today I'm going to be showing you guys some more ways to make bangs for your Minecraft skins. I've actually made two other videos about this before, but they've been super spread out, and since then, I've developed a lot of new styles which I'm going to show you. If this helps you, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, all that, and as always, commissions are open on my new feed gen, actually. Enjoy! Alright, so for our first hairstyle of the day, you are going to, as usual, need four different colors for your palette. Um, this is my darkest one, and what I would do is have your darkest one already down, just like this. You can find all this information in one of my other general hairstyle tutorials, but this is just for bangs. So, get those four colors, and I'll see you back here in a sec. Most of the bang work that we're going to do takes place in the outer layer, so let's start there. What you're going to do is take the color picker and use the color picker to select the color that you have for your eyebrows. And we are going to outline them. And by that, I mean we're, we're going to transfer the colors that are already on the inner layer just to the outer layer. So we're not doing like anything new. We're just transferring things that are already there. First, let's transfer this pixel, the left or I guess right, depending on which way you're looking, eyebrow to the outer layer. So it looks like this. And then we will go on and select our darkest color. From here, we're going to focus on this side of the face exclusively and kind of make columns of two. So with your darkest hair color, you're going to outline the eyebrows right here. Then from the top of this eyebrow, you're going to go like this. So these are pixels, uh, columns of two pixels. And then finally, one more right here. So this is what, what it should look like so far. And on this side of the face, we're going to go diagonally down with two pixels from this eyebrow right here. Then we're going to select our next darkest color, place one little curl pixel right there, and from here we're going to place three pixels on top of this line that we've already built, and then we're going to come diagonally down to the left and place one right there. Then we're going to place two pixels on top of this one, come diagonally down to the left and place one right there. And on here we'll just put one on top, so that's what that side looks like. And over here we're going to do the same thing and just do two diagonal pixels like that. Then you can pick up your next lightest color, place one pixel over this eyebrow right here and two right here. Of course, over here we're going to still do the same pattern. And finally, we're going to fill in the gaps with your lightest color. We're going to make everything even, so three over here, one over here, one over here. And of course, feel free to fiddle with the colors a little bit if they're not exactly right. Like maybe I think that this is a little bit too bright, so I'm just going to make this a little bit darker and adjust it like that. Finally, we are going to outline the outer layer on the inside layer so that we're making sort of like a like a shadow where it connects to the head. So you're going to select your darkest color and just get something like a little bit darker. Well, just a little bit. Um, maybe that's even too much. And once you have it, you're going to place pixels around this area but on the inner layer. So let's do that. And then over here as well. And I usually like to fill in this area too even though it's not as visible and down here as well. I'm assuming most of you have watched my other videos, so I won't actually demonstrate this, but I will let you know that you should do the curl around over here and on this side over here. And of course, with this one pixel right there. All right, just to emphasize that you can really choose any color you want. I went with the cool green palette this time. Same as usual, four colors. Let's start by outlining the eyebrows in all four usual spaces like this. And then we will take our darkest hair color. This can be more symmetrical style, so we're going to start off with placing two of our darkest pixels on top of these eyebrows over here, and on top of the ones over here. Then we'll move on to our next darkest color, and we'll continue those sort of L shapes. So we'll go two right here, two up here and down here, still sort of like curved like that. Then on this side we'll do two up here. And then two over here, mirroring this side. We'll move on to our next darkest color. And on top of these two, we'll make it even over here. And out to the sides of these two over here. Then we're going to fill in the gaps with our lightest color like this. And then we're just going to do some work down here with the curls. We're going to take our darkest color and move it over here. Then we'll take our next darkest color and curl it around. We'll stick with the same color, so this is our second darkest color, put it down here. Then we'll take our next darkest color, which is our second lightest color, and you can curl it down here if you want, but you don't have to. That's an option. It's even an option over here, so you can have it like this. It's pretty customizable, um, this stuff at the end. 
Just as we did with the last hairstyle, we're gonna take our darkest hair color, make it just a tad bit darker, something maybe like that. Maybe that's even too dark again. And we're gonna do some outline work. So we're gonna outline right here on the inner layer. Then we're gonna come up here, down here. You can kind of fill this in so it's like a little bump shape like that. And do the same thing over here. So go one, two, three, and then come all the way down, fill all this junk in, fill all this junk in down here too. And that about does it. Once again, if you did not watch the last part of the video, make sure that you curl around the bangs on this side over here, however they are, and over here, and under here with these curls too. It's more of a rarity because it does have five shades. We need an extra shade on one under this spectrum. Um, so take that into account. And it's more of a circular shape, which is something I don't really do that often. Um, so this might be fun. <laughs> Let's start out by outlining this one eyebrow over here and moving on to our darkest color. We're going to place one pixel diagonally to the left um, of this eyebrow and right where this one would go and also diagonally to the left. Then we'll move on to our next darkest color. And on top of this one, we're gonna go one up and one left. And then over here, we're gonna kind of complete the circle just like this. So we're making kind of a circular shape up here. Moving on to our next color. We're actually gonna complete the circle like this right here. And then we're also gonna place one pixel over here in the bottom right corner. Moving on to our second lightest color, we're gonna add two diagonal pixels right here. And then with our lightest color, you can fill in the remainder. So this is what it looks like in the end, kind of like an oval shape. We're not quite done yet. We're gonna add something just right over here. Um, I would say the second darkest color would suffice. And I'm gonna put that right here, diagonally to the right of this eyebrow. And then the color lighter than that, you can put it on top. So this is what it would look like in the end. But we're not quite done because we do still have to do the outlining on the on the inner layer if you did not watch the rest of the video. So we're gonna find a color that's just very slightly darker than your darkest hair color. And then we're gonna outline on the inner layer kind of where um, they would meet. So these three up here, down here, these two down here, and this one right here. And then I fill in everything in between. And then I would do these three over here. And if it makes you happy, you can also do this one right here to connect it and make it like that. All right, I made it a little bit less saturated, but that's what it would look like in the end. Again, make sure you transfer the bangs to the side over here and over here. Um, to just make it give, give it more of like a 3D dynamic look. And for this last one, we'll start with this outline of the eyebrow right here. Take our darkest color, place it where this left eyebrow will go over here and then go down diagonally over here. We'll also place one in line with this eyebrow right here. So it looks like this so far, only three pixels. Then we'll take our next lightest color, go on top of this one, and diagonally surround this one. Go two on top of this eyebrow, and then direct diagonally surround this one, so it looks like this so far. Taking our next lightest color, we're gonna kind of fill in the area, but leave one hole in the center for our lightest color. And that looks too light to me, so I'm just gonna make it darker. You can always adjust. And there is the finished outer layer look. As I've said many times before, we're gonna take a slightly darker color than your darkest hair color. We're going to do some outlining. I'm going to do four pixels up here, 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 and here. Fill those in. And then fill in one, two, three down over here. And then we will complete the line across except for this one pixel and then go down diagonally like that. And all the way down here. And that's your finished look. Again, don't forget to do the bangs on the side over here. Thank you so much for watching and I really hope that this helped you. I'll just take a moment here to say you should join my Discord server, link in the description. Actually, everything is linked in the description. Um, my All my socials, commissions, etc. So check that out. I'll see you next time. Bye.